Three years ago, I started a business with a very simple hypothesis. Ocean is going to become an incredibly powerful tool for businesses, not for personal productivity or note-taking or student planners, but for serious modern businesses that want to have a flexible toolkit to build their own business software. In those last three years, I've built hundreds of custom Notion business workspaces. I've advised companies and teams on their Notion workflows and workspaces. I've even built my own full-time business around Notion business templates with the Landmark Labs library. But I've always been quietly waiting for that hypothesis to prove itself. And I think with the last year of Notion feature updates, we are finally there with Notion AI, database automations and charts, and with forms, coming soon, Notion is becoming an increasingly powerful tool for businesses. And so while I started working on this very business OS template a year ago, I had to hold off all of the new Notion features that have been released. But we're finally here and I can confidently say this is the most advanced and comprehensive Notion business template system that I've ever built. I think the combination of these new features really does take Notion to another level. And we are going to see more and more businesses adopting Notion as their primary operations platform. So in this video, I'm just going to be walking through this Notion Business OS template. In the coming weeks, I'm gonna film a series of detailed use case videos showing how to do various tasks inside the business OS. And inside the OS itself, there's actually a series of 15 plus little short tutorials for how to use each feature. Even if you're not planning on using Business OS, if you are using Notion for your business, I'm hoping that by going page by page through this system, you can get an idea of just what's possible with all of these new Notion features. Let's take a look. So there's a lot to cover. There are over a hundred unique pages, views, and database templates throughout the Business OS system. So rather than doing a detailed tutorial of how to use all of those features, this is going to be more of a tour. I'm just gonna take you through each of the main dashboards and pages and give a sense of what you can do inside this business OS setup. So we have a main dashboard where you can track and set your own business targets. These are meant to be high level things to keep you focused on key milestones or goals throughout the business across different areas. You have a summary of your active projects and your tasks for today. And you also have this neat little list of shortcuts, which lets you take actions in various places across the business OS. So if you log into your Notion for the day and you know that you have a meeting coming up, you can just quickly click new meeting and it will automatically add that into your meetings database. On the left, you'll notice you have a menu which contains all of the pages that are contained within the business OS. So let's work our way through the pages list. We have a tasks section where we have some insights about things like overdue tasks, the breakdown by projects this week and the breakdown by departments or business areas. And then we have various views for our tasks lists, which are filtered to make things a bit more focused. So we have a weekly view. We have today's view where you can actually add kind of hour by hour if you prefer to time block your tasks by project status and some other preset views. Tasks belong to projects. Projects are going to be kind of the main folders where you connect things like tasks, meetings, content, anything that you are working on over a longer period, you can create a project for it in business OS and that will let you keep track of all of the things that relate to that project. For example, this course launch, if I click into it, it's going to open up a full page where I can track the progress and I can see already any of the tasks that are related to this project. And I can also see any related docs or meetings. So tasks are linked to individual projects, but you can also create these personalized tasks views for each of your team members without getting cluttered by everyone else's stuff. And to create a new tasks view for any one of your team members, you can just click this button here. It's gonna automatically create a new dashboard which is located nicely in your menu. Click into it, give the person a name, and all you need to do is simply filter this view. So speaking of people, we have a people dashboard which is gonna cover everything from your contacts, so acting like a bit of a CRM, to your team and also your customer or client 
target personas. So we have a breakdown of our pipeline and the various contact types. We have a contacts database, which is sorted into various types of contacts from affiliates and clients to competitors, customers, partners, suppliers. You can obviously update these tags to be more fitting to your business, but this is how the business OS is going to arrive when you duplicate it. You also have a pipeline, which is tracking the various stages that these contacts are in. As mentioned, you can create and track user personas. There is a template. Whenever you create a new item in this database, it's going to automatically populate with the new persona prompts to help you kind of start fleshing out your target persona. After people, we have calendar. This is just a simple calendar view for your meetings and your content. And if you want to, you can link this to the Notion calendar. The content page gives us a more detailed breakdown of all things related to content marketing. So at the top, we have some insights for things like views month to month, breakdown of performance by channels. And then we have this database where we can actually track and update the performance of our posts. And in the content database side of things, we have a place to obviously track the actual content pieces. We also have this little tool, which is going to help us repurpose content. So if I have this affiliates hub, YouTube video that I've filmed, then I can actually use this, these edit buttons with notion AI to quickly generate an Instagram caption, a LinkedIn post, a tweet for each of the content pieces that I produce. So if you add the content to this post page, then you can use these buttons to quickly repurpose your content using Notion AI. There's also a keywords list, which helps you track and sort keyword volumes if you're running any SEO or targeted content campaigns. And again, there is a neat little Notion AI feature here, which is going to let you brainstorm some more related keywords to your main target keyword. Next up, we have an offerings where you can organize and get a summary of all of the products and service offerings that your business makes. Again, at the top, we have our insights, which is broken down by the various offerings. We can do things like chart our average order values and sales and grossing revenue per item. But really, this is just a space where you can flesh out and keep track of the main offerings that your business provides. Again, each of these offerings has a list of database properties, some of them include a Notion AI feature to help you quickly summarize things like market positioning and a description. But you can always update these yourself as the next main part of the business OS is going to be about distribution. So you have your offerings and you have your key distribution insights. To start with, we just have a few charts which are tracking impressions across different channels, calculating cost per acquisition and tracking spend. And we have another similar distribution overview, which is just giving a sense of what are the channels that we are marketing through. And it lets you track some details about he how each of these channels are performing. One of the main use cases for Notion that businesses are already using is as a knowledge hub. So we have a docs section where you can track things like processes, project proposals, contracts, and really anything else that you want to store as a document for your team to access. Now let's move on to this KPIs dashboard, which I think is a really nice addition thanks to Notion Charts, which lets you really control your data and build your own custom dashboards. So there's likely more improvements that will come to Charts, but even for now, this workspace lets me create a fully customizable dashboard with all of the key metrics that I want to keep track of and get a quick overview of in a single view. I can easily edit the data for each of these charts with this view right next to the chart here. And what I've also included is this button to add a new KPI database and chart, which will let you quickly add and drag your own custom KPIs into the workspace. So if you had another metric that you wanted to track, all you need to do is click that button, new KPI, give it a name. So let's say that we wanted to track, I don't know, customer satisfaction. It's already populated with a 12 month series just to give you a bit of a head start on setting up the chart configuration. And you can just give your values here and chart that 
very, very quickly and easily. The financial section goes into more detail on your transaction items. So we have revenue and expense items, and we use all of this data here to build out some, some high level visualizations of what's going on in your business. So we have things like revenue breakdown for this year. It's broken down into different categories, but you can also get a more detailed category view here, as well as filtering for revenue in the previous year or even in the last 30 days. The same applies to expenses. We can track those here. And we also have a profit loss that's being calculated in this chart at the bottom here. Next, we have a funnel analysis. And I personally think that this is a really important exercise or thing to be tracking in any business. And so I wanted to just make a dedicated dashboard to it to let you quickly go through a funnel analysis. So you can update the stages that you want to include in your business funnel and then track the user counts and conversion rates at each step of your funnel. You then have this board view below, which lets you add specific actions that belong to each stage and then track the numbers that go along with that. So the number of people that see a YouTube video, visit a blog post or social media post, these all belong to the awareness category. Those get summed up into the user counts here and we can get a nice sense of how users are progressing through the funnel. The conversion rates tells us where perhaps people are getting stuck or which areas need more work. Continuing on with some of this business analysis tooling, we also have a business model overview page where you can just quickly get a high level view of what is basically a shortened version of the business model canvas. Here we have our target markets, which you can create and summarize quickly, again, using some Notion AI features if you need to. You have a summary of your offerings, which is all of your products and services, the marketing channels that you're operating on, and who are you actually serving as your customers. And I always find that this high level summary brings me back to like, what is the core of the business and what is it that we're doing? How do we get customers? How do we make money? It's always useful to be reminded of what is the actual core of your business model. Next, we have a space dedicated to competitor and market research. So there's a dedicated video about using Notion AI for competitor research, which I can share. But here is just a place where you can track that process and keep updated on what your competitors are doing. And lastly, we have this little section for some business analysis frameworks. You can use these buttons to add new analysis exercises. This might be something that you do by yourself or with your team, but whenever you want to run a new analysis exercise, just use one of these shortcut buttons and you can choose from any of the frameworks listed. And that is about as quick of a run through as I can do without sharing more details about how to use the setup. There's obviously a lot that I would like to share and tell you about how to make the most of this template system, but I will be recording very detailed tutorials that go into use cases, which you can follow this YouTube channel for if you're interested in seeing those. But I'm very happy to say that Business OS is now actually live and available. So if you're interested in using this template system, I will leave a link to it below. If you have any questions or comments about how to use it or how to customize Business OS to your own use case, please do leave me a comment. The Landmark Labs library has over a hundred Notion component templates also that can be added and integrated into the business OS. So if you're interested in that, head over to landmarklabs.co. But again, I hope you found this business OS tour useful. And if you're interested in using it for yourself, then please do check out the link below. Thanks for watching.